Look at that. That worked. Wow. Here we have a package from Tim, Arizona. Samsung Note Tab 12.2 inch. And the problem is it scans for, but does not connect to Wi-Fi Bluetooth. We've done several of those videos on YouTube where customers are not able to turn on Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. We'll take a look at this one. Uh, tablet is well packaged. Very good condition. We're gonna open it, take the motherboard out, inspect it under the microscope and take it from there. So before we take this apart, let me turn it on. Yeah, last any. So we're gonna test and see if Wi-Fi Bluetooth are in fact not working. That's the first step is to verify what the customer told you. We're gonna go to settings. Then we'll go to Wi-Fi and if you can see, I don't think you can see on that cam. If I try to turn Wi-Fi on, it doesn't turn on, it stays grayed out. Bluetooth, Bluetooth is trying to turn on. And nothing, it stays grayed out. So Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are not able to turn on. All right, let's take this apart and go under the microscope. So if you look at the board here, we have three areas that are covered. I know from experience the Wi-Fi chip is under this cover here. So we're going to remove the cover and inspect the circuit inside here. Most likely we'll have to change the Wi-Fi chip like we did in the few videos that we posted on YouTube. We figured out it's a Wi-Fi chip by trial and error. We have no circuit diagrams for this. The Wi-Fi chip is right over here. This chip controls both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. And now we have access to that chip. So I'm going to go ahead and replace the chip because I've done this so many times and it's almost always the Wi-Fi chip. There was only one instance where we were not able to fix the Wi-Fi Bluetooth issue even after replacing the chip. And it was not obvious if there was anything else wrong with the board. We did not have a short, but that was only one instance. The first time we got one of those, I inspected so many things on the board. I did not have a circuit diagram, so I inspected all the capacitors to see if there's any possible short on there. I inspected the board under the thermal cam and could not find anything obvious. And uh, I started to look uh, who makes the Wi-Fi chip for this tablet. And I found a company in China. We have a huge batch of ICs for this tablet here. Uh, we tried the Wi-Fi chip and it worked. And since then, we've been replacing the Wi-Fi chips on this particular tablet and now we're going to do yet another one
I'm just preheating from far and then I'll come down closer once the board gets saturated with heat. And the chip is out. Now we're gonna go ahead and clean. Before we clean, I'm gonna apply leaded solder and mix it with unleaded that's on the board now. And the reason for that is it will lower the melting temperatures so that when we wick off those solder balls, it's gonna be easy and we do not risk ripping any of those pads off the board. being worked on right now I should have news for you maybe after an hour the guy who called is the owner of this tablet and I told him you're on video I'm not sure if I'm gonna put his voice but uh, that's him uh, I was thinking the other day what if we use the hot tweezers to actually desolder the solder balls of the pads usually what we do is we put the wick over the solder balls and then we pass the soldering iron we press it on the wick and then we desolder the solder balls from the pads. Other times what we do is we put the wick over the solder balls and then we use hot air and we just brush off the wick on those solder balls to desolder them and to clean the solder balls off the pads. So I was thinking, what if we get our hot tweezers and we grab that piece of wick with our hot tweezers and then we just move back and forth on top of the solder balls Will that actually desolder the balls of the pads? I do not know, but it would be a nice experiment. I never seen anybody try this method before, so uh, if it's successful, I'm sure a lot of the, the techs in this field out there, they're gonna be using the same method because that would be really awesome. Right there. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That worked. Wow. That's absolutely the best method to desolder solder balls off pads. I mean, that's the first time I tried this. Look at this. Wow. That's amazing. That's amazing. I never seen anybody use this method before. So this may be the trend for everyone out there who owns a hot tweezer. I mean, look at this. Even if we touch those tiny components, they're not gonna get knocked off. Hot tweezers to desolder solder balls. That's amazing. We were able to wick every single ball off those pads without affecting any nearby components. Even if this area was very, very tight with components very close to the pads, we're still not going to worry about knocking off any components nearby. So I'm glad that worked. Let's grab a chip. I have so many tweezers on this bench and I can't find one. So this should go in like that. 
that's the proper orientation. Okay, and that should be enough. I'm going to lower the airspeed. We do not want that chip to fly away. It's going to start to heat up from far. All right, and that's it. The job is done. Let's inspect the sides. Very nice, very nice. We're gonna wait for the board to cool down a bit. We're gonna clean it and then give it to Big Boss to reassemble it and we'll test Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Hopefully everything is working. If that board works or not, I'm extremely happy with that Hot Tweezers method to desolder balls of the pads. I never thought that would actually work like that. It was so smooth and so good. And that's why I'm sharing it with you. Anybody out there who is in this field and owns a hot tweezer or is thinking about buying hot tweezers, that's just one other use for that hot tweezers. Amazing. I'm gonna cut those off. and the chip is soldered on right over here. Okay, time for Big Boss to continue his job and put this back. All right, so the board is assembled. And as you can see, that's the Wi-Fi chip right here. Let's turn it on and hopefully we have a working Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Hi puppy. hi puppy, say hi to the camera. You're on camera. You're gonna be on this video. I'm gonna put you. Okay. I wanted, I wanted to show you something. I searched up on the internet. Sure uh, multi window. I do not want multi window. Let's go to settings. I do not know if you can see it on this camera. Let me show it to you on the other camera. As you can see, Wi Fi is on and I'm able to see all the Wi Fi networks right there. I'm gonna choose our network and connect to it. And connect and connected so awesome awesome Wi-Fi is working and the job is done but one thing I want to try is to power it off and back on again 
it's working off on very good bluetooth it turned on and off now i'm very happy that i was able to get this tablet working but the the thing that i was most happy about is the fact that i could use my tweezers to remove solder balls off pads i was thinking about this the other day i tried it and it worked like a miracle uh, that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like and subscribe click on that bell icon next to the subscribe button so you can be notified when we have a new video up leave a comment if you have any questions and we'll do something else in the next video